What's up guys, this is Ultimate iDevice Vids, and in this video we're going to be doing a battery drain test between the iPhone 14 Pro Max, the 14 Pro, the 14 Plus, and the standard 14. So the entire iPhone 14 lineup. And as usual, I want to mention a few things before we get started. True Tone, Night Shift, and Auto Brightness are disabled on all four of these devices. And just to let you guys know, for the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max, we are going to be leaving the 120Hz display refresh rate capability turned on. As you can see in the motion settings, the limit frame rate toggle is disabled, meaning that the display refresh rate can go up to as high as 120 hertz, depending on what you're doing. This is the way these devices are configured straight out of the box, so that's how we're going to leave it for this video. And of course, with tests like this, it's very important to consider that the battery performance of a device is entirely dependent on the condition of the battery in the device. And as you can see, for all four of these devices, the battery health is showing very high. They're also all running the very same version of iOS 16. I set the brightness on all four of these devices as close to the same as I could get using a lux meter for reference, and the volume is turned all the way down on all of them. They're also all connected to the very same Wi-Fi network, and they're also all connected to the very same cellular network. However, they're all going to be connected to Wi-Fi throughout this entire test. And with all four devices charged all the way up to 100%, we're going to go ahead and turn off the power strip that they're connected to, and we'll remove the power cables and we're going to kick things off with one hour of YouTube video streaming. So we're going to be streaming the very same video at 1080p quality, full screen, on all four of these devices for one hour. And checking in after a full hour of YouTube video streaming, as you can see, all devices are still in the high 90s, except for the 14 Pro, which strangely dropped to 92%. Now, I wouldn't read too much into this because I think this is just a random variable throwing things off a little bit, just in the margin of error, because this result is not consistent at all throughout the remainder of the test. And I'll touch more on this in a little bit. But next up, we're going to head on over to Safari for one hour of web browsing. So for the first 30 minutes, we're going to be loading new web pages and scrolling through web pages on apple.com. And for the second 30 minutes, we're going to be loading new web pages and scrolling through web pages on theverge.com. And of course, it's always important to consider in tests like this, that there's a variety of varying factors that contribute to how your battery life is going to be. Of course, things like what you do on your device, the condition of the battery in your device, the brightness of your screen, any background processes that are running, cell signal strength, and just a whole host of other factors all play a very big role on how your battery life will be. And of course, I'm controlling as many of these variables as I can to get the most accurate results. As I said earlier, they're all connected to the very same Wi-Fi network, and they're all connected to the very same cellular network. I set the brightness on all of them as close to the same as I could get. Of course, you should keep in mind that what we're doing in this video is a very controlled stress test where we're just using these devices in the very same location continuously until they die. So of course in the real world there's a ton of factors that we're not testing for in this video such as standby time, varying levels of cell signal strength throughout your day, and just a whole host of other factors. So definitely keep in mind that in the real world factors will vary all over the place. But even in a hyper controlled test environment there's always going to be random variables that throw each device off a little bit. So rather than interpreting this video as a hyper detailed percent point by percent point analysis, you should just interpret it as gauging overall battery performance of these devices in comparison to one another. And checking in after an hour of web browsing, as you can see, the overall same trends are continuing. Next up, we're going to head on over to Instagram for one hour. For the first 10 minutes, we're going to be looking through stories. And for the remainder of the hour, we'll be scrolling through posts. And checking in after a full hour of Instagram, as you can see here, the 14 Pro Max lost a very similar amount of percentage in comparison to the 14 Plus. And the same thing is the case with the 14 Pro in relation to the standard 14. They both dropped a very similar amount of percentage. Next up, we're going to head on over to TikTok for one hour of scrolling through posts. And checking in after a full hour of TikTok, as you can see, yet again, the same trends are continuing. And going back to what I said earlier about the 14 Pro losing more percentage in that initial round of YouTube video streaming. Once again, I really don't think that's indicative of the 14 Pro having worse battery life, because as you've seen in every task since then, and as you'll continue to see throughout this video, the 14 Pro loses almost the exact same amount of percentage per task as the standard 14 does. I think that was just a random variable throwing things off. As I said earlier, that's always going to happen in these tests like this. There's always going to be a little bit of a margin of error. Anyways, next up, we're going to head on over to Minecraft for one hour of playing the game. And just to let you guys know, 
know the render distance setting for Minecraft is set to the exact same on all four of these devices being seven chunks. So we're just gonna get into a game on all four of these and play for an hour. And checking in after a full hour of playing Minecraft, as you can see yet again, the same trends are continuing with the standard 14 and the 14 Pro, losing more or less the same amount of percentage and the same thing with the 14 Plus in comparison to the 14 Pro Max, both losing more or less the same amount of percentage. And this is great to see that the battery difference we're seeing here, at least in this test, is between the different display sizes, not the difference between Pro and not Pro for the most part. Next up, we're going to head on over to PUBG for one hour of playing the game. And also for PUBG, the graphics and frame rate settings are set to the same on all four devices. But we're just going to go ahead and get into a match here on all these devices and play for an hour. And after a full hour of PUBG checking in, more or less the same trends are continuing, give or take a few percentage points. And with the first round of the battery test complete, we're going to head back to YouTube for our second scheduled hour of YouTube video streaming. Once again, the very same video, 1080p quality, full screen for another hour. And checking in after our second hour of YouTube video streaming, here are the numbers. Next up, we're going to head back to Safari for our second scheduled hour of web browsing. Once again, just like last time, for the first 30 minutes, I'll be loading new web pages and scrolling through web pages on apple.com. And for the second 30 minutes, I'm going to do that on theverge.com. And checking in after that, as you can see, the 14 Pro Max is starting to take a little bit of a more noticeable lead over the 14 Plus, but still nothing huge. So next, we're going to head back to Instagram for our second scheduled hour. And eight hours and 58 minutes into the test, the iPhone 14 Pro dies. And once again, I wouldn't read a whole lot into the 14 Pro dying before the 14 because of that margin of error that for whatever reason occurred in the very first round of YouTube video streaming and considering that the standard 14 is at 7% when the 14 Pro just died and remembering that that random variation at the beginning of the test was about 5% that would mean the standard 14 only has give or take two percentage points of an advantage over the 14 Pro in this test and checking in after a full hour of Instagram as you can see the standard 14 is beneath the 10% mark at 5% Meanwhile, the 14 Plus and 14 Pro Max are in the 20s. So next, we're going to head back to TikTok for our second scheduled hour of scrolling through posts. And 9 hours and 29 minutes into the test, the standard 14 dies, leaving the larger devices as the only two left standing. And after closing out the remainder of the hour of TikTok checking in, the 14 Pro Max is at 21% and the 14 Plus is at 16%. So very similar battery performance between the 14 Plus and 14 Pro Max, but we are seeing that a little advantage on the 14 Pro Max. And next up, we're going to head back to Minecraft for our second scheduled hour of playing the game. And checking in after that, the 14 Plus is at 1%, just barely hanging on, and the 14 Pro Max is at 5%. So we're going to head back to PUBG for our second scheduled hour of playing the game. And just a few seconds into PUBG, the 14 Plus dies at 11 hours and 9 minutes into the test. And a little while later, at 11 hours and 33 minutes into the test, the 14 Pro Pro Max dies. And alright, here are the final results. And honestly, I think they speak for themselves. All four of these devices have fantastic battery life, and you can't go wrong with any of them. And I just want to reiterate one last time, I'm very certain that the 14 Pro performing slightly worse than the standard 14 in this test is a result of a random variation during the first round of YouTube video streaming at the beginning of the test. As throughout the remainder of the test, the 14 Pro lost a very similar amount of percentage in comparison to the standard 14. As I always say, random variations like this do happen in these tests, so I wouldn't consider that difference at the end of the day. But guys, that just about wraps it up for this video. If you guys are using any of these four devices, let me know down below in the comments section how the battery performance has been for you. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.